the morning, my sister, we greet you in the everlasting and adorable name of Jesus, our Christ, and our Lord, and we thank him for another day. This is the fourth day of February 2022, and uh, it is right at, uh, what is it, 6.05 a.m., and we are at 64 degrees. Climate change has us <laughs> at 64 Fahrenheit. Um, uh, February, February, February. Uh, and um, I guess at almost at the upper midpoint of our thermometer on this uh, fourth day of February, about to go into the weekend, and it seems as if there is a descent in our um, temperature range scheduled. We are going down, going down again. But whether it goes up or whether it goes down, it is a historic recording of what happened on February 4th, 2022. And uh, just coming from the hospital, I had to pick up one of my, uh, one of my sons who was there overnight. And um, we blessed the Lord for the opportunity. So Ms. Joyner and I uh, are back in. Uh, our son is getting tucked in and we are looking forward to a blessed next uh, day after this um, overnight stay and uh, such uh, as has been processed for him uh, for better living in the days ahead. And all of us ought to be shooting for better living today according to the will and way of our Lord. Uh, Lady Karen uh, Sheard is uh, providing music this morning. And most of all, this day has come forth from the hand of God who stopped by earlier this morning and touched us with his divine finger of love and caused our golden moments to hitch up to the chariot of time and roll on just a little while longer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we have forgiven those who've trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and forever. And all the people of God said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Uh, our devotional this morning, rising from 31 days of biblical empowerment. Let me give you a good, a good uh, example of... Uh, what uh, the uh, 31 day empowerment looked like the devotional what what did it what did it look like back in uh, 2002 uh, and I'm grateful that, that some copies were still available if you're interested in securing uh, one of these 31 days of, of biblical empowerment we, we we produced this back in 2002 and it's still, it's still getting our day started and we bless the Lord for it. I'm gonna put um, in the comment, uh, R.O. Ronnie um, 
D. Give me back it up. Back the D up. Back the D up. Rem back the D up. Ronnie uh, D. Uh, period. Joiner. J O Y. Uh, at. At. Gmail. G M A I L. Uh, dot uh, com c o m okay i'm putting it um putting it in the comment area if you're interested in securing your copy of uh, 31 days of biblical empowerment you can request it we um have a fresh batch uh from which we can uh, release unto you uh, or if you would just like a PDF file of that, uh, you can hit us up. Our e email address is there. And then, of course, uh, if you would like a copy of our PDF file of the informational brochure of uh, the Year of Jubilee Family Legacy Covenant, you can also make request of that. I'm excited about it. God gave me some new revelations um, relative to positioning families, y'all. Th this is a statement he gave me some years ago. God must surely have loved families because he put each one of us in one. And um, this uh, uh, year of Jubilee, Family and Legacy Covenant is an overview of the entire year of ministry to families, ministries for families, and um, uh, biblical empowerment so that families can become God's ideal within the earth, uh, providing the nurture, the undergirding, and direction uh, uh, biblically that uh, he desires. So we're grateful to be able uh, to share such. Uh, get, get a copy of it. Get a copy of it. Uh, I, I sincerely hope that you will. Sincerely hope that you will. This, this, this part of my, um, my, uh, my pre and my post retirement ministry that the Lord uh, has given me um, so from the book of Exodus, uh, Galatians today, <laughs> uh, 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 Galatians today, um, and uh, Numbers, Galatians and Numbers from the New Testament, Galatians, and from the Old Testament, the book of Numbers. Let's let's go to the book of Numbers first, and we're going to celebrate the Lord's Supper as well as part of our daily ministry moment and ministry period that's over against all, all adverse conditions, especially uh, how on our list is coronavirus and its variants. Um, I just saw this little clip where uh, the, the governor was in the grocery store and uh, he didn't have a mask on, and uh, he, he, he was questioned as to why he didn't have a mask on. Uh, uh, so um, that, that, that political indifference, uh, that there are some things I believe that must be done, and I believe we must have our, have our prayer time, we ought to have a time in the Word daily, uh, and some things are necessary additionally in terms of um, uh, making the day a blessing. And today, Jesus is the blesser, is our uh, devotional. Let me go first to the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verses 6 through 9. And um, it is written this way, And Joshua son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jep, 
Jephune, Jephune, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes, and they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we passed through to search it is an exceeding good land. If the Lord delighteth in us, then he will bring us into this land. I feel the Holy Ghost right there. And give it us a land flowing with milk and honey. Only rebels, not ye against, or, or only rebel, uh, not ye against the Lord. Neither fear ye the people of the land. If it's flowing with milk and honey, somebody is getting the milk, somebody is getting the honey, right now, but uh, the Lord is about to make a transfer. Uh, so he says the people that are there in that land flowing with milk and honey, that, that's not in heaven yet, y'all. <laughs> that's not in heaven. That was an actual uh, piece of property. The numbers text is highlighting here. God has uh, some impartations of heaven to give us down here on earth. And uh, you have to fight for it every now and then. Um, and the word from uh, uh, Moses in this Numbers book is, Rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. So that, that is a word for you today as you're on your way and you see something good, uh, delightful, uh, uh, um, uh, enhancing for you and your, your, your family and even your future. Uh, the byword here, here is, what is the report from your survey of this upcoming day? What will ye or you face? And how will you face it? Whose perspective will guide you through this day? And whose focus Will be your will be your abiding focus today. I charge you, if your day will provide milk and honey, do not rebel against the Lord in it. I God, we have some people. Not only have we been to the hospital to pick up our son, but we have some people who have already scheduled uh, two groups. One to come by here between uh, 10 and 12, and no, 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 the 8, 8 to 12. Then we have this other group that's coming by uh, 10 to 12, and we are also positioning to have our, our granddaughter here today, so she's going to be part of our welcoming committee. And <laughs> for all who are scheduled to stop by and to uh, um, do some work here at the homestead, and we are um, looking forward to the blessing, a day of blessing, because that's the overall theme of today. First, milk and honey has been uh, uh, promised to us uh, uh, from the uh, uh, author of this book of Numbers, and now in the New Testament, Galatians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. Uh, because he freely gave his life for us, we are cleansed and we are forgiven. Jesus set us free from the uh, the the, the Jesus set us free to be truly 
all he designed us to be and gifted us to become, blessed us to become. With Mary, we say from the time on, all generations will count me blessed because of the birthing of our Lord. And you are to birth Jesus. Uh, birth him today, Sister Neil, in a more uh, empowering definition for your life and uh, living. So with Mary, uh, as she said at uh, the, uh, the, the time of birthing Christ, from this time on, all generations will count me blessed. Jesus says in the quietness of our hearts today, your happiness in me is not like that of the world. In the world, you will have temptations as well as persecutions. But in the midst of these, your joy will be full and running over. I'm at the best, or you are at your best, or I am at my best. When we can see us wanting, as uh, Mary said, from this time on, uh, to see you wanting the blessing of the Lord upon your life. Look out, here I come again, Christ says, because he stopped by early this morning and touched us with his divine finger of love and caused us uh, to connect with him as he made that connection by touching us with his finger of love and causing our golden moments there to start for this day and to, and to keep on uh, processing uh, his golden uh, opportunities for life and living in our lives. This is, what, this is how Paul phrased it in the book of uh, Galatians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, he says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. And all of that uh, in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham reaching way back might come to the Gentiles, the non-Jew so that we might receive the promise of his spirit. We might receive the promise of his spirit. We might receive the promise of his spirit. And from the crowns of our heads to the very soles of our feet that we uh, would, be, we would receive the promise of his spirit. There's an old or an old phrase from uh, one of our hymns of uh, our, our, our faith, come Holy Spirit, come heavenly dove with all of your quickening power and kindle a flame of your eternal love in these cold hearts of ours. <laughs> ah, something about the word of the Lord, the music uh, of our journey, and uh, the Lord who is the inspiration of it, especially on this fourth day of February as we celebrate Jesus as the blesser. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of the earth. Touch us with uh, the power of your revelation that we'll be able to realize you and more than how we have seen you before and um, the best being uh, processed in the spirit of our devotion unto you uh, and for the, the negatives within us 
to be overwhelmed by the positives that you have given us through your divine word. Hear our prayer. Incline thine ear unto us and grant us thy peace. In the name of Jesus our Christ and our Lord, we pray. While sitting at um, table with his disciples at one of the pre uh, and the preparation period for his steps toward Calvary, he said, one of you will betray me. And while he had uh, Judas on his mind, 30 pieces of silver, 30 pieces of silver, uh, betrayal, betrayal money, 30 pieces of silver, 30 pieces of silver, 30 pieces of silver. Uh, what, 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 what is that equated to today uh, in terms of financial denomination. 30 pieces of silver. 30 pieces of silver. If I had uh, in our currency uh, 30 pieces or, of, 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 of nickels, uh, what, what, how much would that be? If I had 30 pieces of dimes, how, how long will that last? If I had 30 pieces of quarters, even if, if I had 30 pieces of silver dollars, <laughs> what would that, what, what, what would, how, how long would that last? Uh, betrayal, betrayal money. Uh, and I know we are uh, dealing with our currency over against the financial um, uh, burden that, uh, that betrayal carried for Judas, but while he had Judas on his mind, the other disciples sitting at table with him asked, Lord, is it I? So all of us, in a sense, from this mind, this, this, this mental question from Jesus, all of us have our, have, <laughs> have what we would, in a sense, sell out for betray him for but he 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 sought that which uh, was more precious more more of a blessing uh, 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 of greater wealth that um, he, he, he he offers now and he says take eat this is my body which is broken for you. This do, this, this do in remembrance of me. So more than just the knife and a fork experience. Uh, take, eat, uh, uh, and we've been um, from the book of Numbers this morning, from from the the um, epistle of Galatians this morning. We've been eating from the, the promises of our Prince of Peace, our Empower, and the gift provider, gifting us even with this day and allowing us uh, to un, un, unwrap the gift that um, is chosen for this fourth day, the body of our Lord, oh brother, oh sister, the body of our Lord, as it uh, melts in our mouths, the body of our Lord, as it becomes a part of the embodiment of our person, the, the, the body of our Lord, that body he gave on the cross of Calvary that uh, set in place with him one of the greatest futures uh, we can ask his assistance in unfolding with our names on it uh, precious gift but not only that uh, he said I have one more thing to give you this cup is the New Testament in uh, <laughs> in my blood in my will the New Testament in my in my determination for your life. 
the New Testament. And, 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 and um, as we embrace this feature of the gift from around that table, um, uh, New Testament here references the will, what, what the Lord's will was and what the Lord's will is for this day we are living right now. And as we drink from that cup as a symbol of his blood, his blood that became the sacrificial cleanser, purifier, enablement for life and living, even on this fourth day of February of 2022. What is God's will for you today? It's the same as the will was as he gave his blood. And from the crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet, this will, what's God's purpose that he would have us to fulfill today? He's laid the will out and now to properly appropriate that will in say your name. <laughs> say your name. Say your name. In the name of the Father and in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Ghost three times. What is Ronnie supposed to be doing today as I personalize it under the authority of him as blesser for my life. That's the devotional theme. And we have seen it from the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verses 6 through 9, as well as Galatians, chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. The will of the Lord has been laid out for us today. Let us appropriate it in the form of of his authority, his word, that is now uh, as insulation to our respiratory system against the, 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 the pandemic virus that all of us are going through right now and also enunciated in his blood that from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet, we're able to carry out his will, his will for our lives, such as we have read, O oh Lord, such as we have taken in. May the blessing that you have authored in this prayer time, this devotional period, this wording up moment from your historic perspective and now in our contemporary settings, from the crowns of our heads to the very soles of our feet, be thou our blesser in this day. In the name of the only name that matters, Jesus our Christ and our Lord, we pray. And all the people of God said, amen. Come on, give it an amen. Amen for the morning. Amen for your noonday. Amen for your evening. And amen for your weekend. From the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet. Be that man. Be that woman. Be that brother. Be that sister. Be that mother. Be that dad. Persons who are looking to you for that level of family empowerment. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. God bless. Thank each of you for joining us as well. If you would like a copy of today's devotional, my email is right in your comment area. Let me hear from you. God bless.